AC Klinger, huge All-American finish today as a freshman. How's that performance feel? Felt good. Um, you know, my individual goal coming into it was, you know, getting a good All-American honors, and I'm super stoked to be able to stand on the stage with such legendary runners. Um, so yeah, it was a great feeling to be up there and be an All-American today. I mean, what an introduction to the NCAA. You know, you're part of this uh, historic BYU team. Uh, just talk a little bit about being part of that unit. Um, this experience this season, um, running with the BYU team, has been uh, unbelievable. I've never experienced anything like it. Uh, to be able to run under such a great coach like Ed Eyestone, um, it's, he, he, sure, he sure knows how to get you to the next level. And um, I'm super grateful for him and uh, you know the guys on the team. Um, they're all such great leaders and um, such a great examples to me. And being able to race with them and uh, be around my best friends all the time, it's just it's a great feeling and I'm super grateful for them. Um, I know I would not uh, have an All-American medal if it weren't for them, so I just want to thank them. Not, even all the guys who di didn't race and all the guys who aren't here, I just want to say thank you because um, I wouldn't be here without them. So. And so obviously, you know, coming in as a freshman, transitioning to the 10K distance uh, is difficult for a lot of guys, but uh, you made the transition really well. Do you feel like having that, you know, close pack, interchangeable parts really helped you? Yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, it's, it's been quite an adjustment going from 5K to 8K to 10K, but um, having that team support there definitely has helped me transition smoothly into the longer distances. So I, I would say definitely that group of guys has definitely helped me a lot. So I know you guys, you know, you came out here wanting to get that team title. Uh, you know, getting third had to have been kind of bittersweet. What did Coach Eyestone say to you guys after the results came out? Um, it definitely stung a little bit for sure, um, but Coach Eyestone told us to keep our heads high and to not let one race define us. Um, it's still the highest we've ever, BYU has ever placed at the NCAA, NCAA meet. So um, we have that to look at, but it's definitely, it definitely hurts a little bit, but we're gonna, we're gonna learn from it and uh, they'll see us back here next year. And so you're going on a mission soon, right? Yeah. When do you leave for the mission? I leave for Sapporo, Japan, January 10th. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to serving for two years and um, getting to know the people of Japan and uh, hopefully coming back here and uh, seeing you guys soon in the next couple years. Yeah. Well, good luck on your mission and congratulations. Thank you.